life is uh, confusing. <laughs> I'm going crazy just thinking about it. <laughs> the other night, I uh, couldn't sleep. So I went outside and looked up at the stars. And I wondered, what is this really all about? What, what am I really all about? Couldn't keep my wife from leaving me. <laughs> Couldn't keep my kid from running off and joining the army. I'm so proud of him. I couldn't keep any of it from happening. <laughs> the worst part. I don't even know who I am anymore. I used to know. <laughs> but not anymore. I feel like I'm looking for something, you know? I just don't know what. Maybe you can help me. Tell me what I should do. And every time it rains, it rains. Panties from heaven. Shoo do be. Don't you know each cloud contains panties from heaven? Shoo do be. It's the cooking, the cleaning, and the crying. It's the talking in your sleep. It's the moose calls that open up your ears at 3 o'clock in the morning. I can't take it anymore, Felix. I I'm cracking up! <laughs> you leave me little notes on my pillow. I told you a hundred times I can't stand little notes on my pillow. We're all out of cornflakes. F you! It took me three hours to figure out that F you was Felix Ungar! It's not your fault, Felix. It's a rotten combination. Before I came to work here, I worked in hospice for five years. I dealt with patients who were angry about dying. I dealt with patients who were sad about dying. I even dealt with patients who tried to make me feel better about their death. I dealt with them all. And I tried to help each and every one of them leave this earth as peacefully as possible. And the whole time, you think you're doing okay? You think you have a good handle on that. But one day, you form an attachment with one of those patients. You don't want to let them go. Something hits you then. Maybe it's the unfairness of death. Maybe it's the stress of being the one who holds the door open for the Grim Reaper. Or maybe it's the fact that one day you're gonna have to walk through that door yourself.
Whatever it is, it makes you irrational. Is that what you think I am? I'm talking about myself. One day it just came over me while I was shopping. My old stereo stopped working, so... I had to buy a new one. I was looking at new stereos and suddenly I thought... What's the point? Eventually a new stereo is gonna stop working too. And I couldn't buy the stereo. I had a meltdown. I looked around and every appliance I saw looked defective like it was about to blow a fuse any minute. Is that the latest chart? Yeah. What does it say? Gloria, I know how fond you are of her. Just tell me what it says. The doctor doesn't think she's gonna last through the night. Her heart is... Thank you, Michael. I have to go.